All right, welcome to the first episode of Shelled Reptile Room Renovations. This is a series that's dedicated to improving and updating reptile enclosures. Today we have Russian tortoise enclosure. We're going to be changing out the bedding. I have some cool ideas. I got a really cool plant I'm going to be putting in there. So we're going to make this look 50 times as better, if not 100 times as better. I know they're going to like it, but um, let's just start out by taking out all of their decorations. Now we are going to be taking out the bedding. I would just like to point out that this entire time I didn't use gloves or a scoop. That proves the point that cypress mulch is not sharp or prickly. Now we have most of the substrate out. I don't know if you can tell, but like over here, there's a little bit of sand. That's okay because I'm putting a plant there and I have to build that area up. But Definitely time to put in the new substrate. Let's go ahead and do that. All right guys, so I just need to say, while filling this up with cypress mulch, a little reptile hack for you guys. I got this entire bag. This is, I believe, let's see. I think it's two square foot of this. Pure cypress mulch for under two dollars. You know how much money that would cost to get a repi bar? I got all this for under two dollars. Under two dollars. Okay, so these two gals are the first ones to go in. Two bigger. She's the biggest. She's the smallest out of the three gals. Okay, so that concludes the Russian tourist build. But before you go, let me explain to you what I've done. So I have... <clears throat> I have two different kinds of substrates here. I have a pure cypress mulch, and I have a eco-earth play sand mix, which is just over by the snake plant. Um, that will be used, two main purposes. One will be digging, because Russian tortoises are burrowing tortoises, and two, a nesting site, if they were to be so kind as to give me a few eggs. Now, I have this really cool snake plant. One, it's edible, very edible for tortoises, but luckily for me, Tortoises don't actually find snake plant all that appetizing, so it'll, it'll, I think it'll be fine. The cool thing about the sand area is I, I've actually planted a lot of tortoise safe grass seed. Just with the cases of it growing, I don't think it will because they're going to nip it right in the bud right when it sprouts. But um, I hope that grows a little bit so they can get some natural grazing. Cypress mulch is very, very good for Russian tortoises. So many people freak out about it. Guys, it's fine. I've used it. Wow, that's bright. I've used it basically the entire time I've had Russian horses, which has been about seven years. No problems. But Annie might actually be going into her own enclosure soon because this is getting a little tight. And I would like to have one more good egg laying female. Then I'm going to start the whole breeding process here pretty soon. But so this is the setup I have a heat bulb here, a UV, UVB here. Over here, this is a UVB, and this is a ceramic heat bulb. It's very warm under there. It has some nice UVB. This right here, if you're wondering, this is some um, Spanish moss. 
I've just been growing. I have some in the red foot tank or enclosure as well. But as you can see, they seem to be enjoying their enclosure. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know she's enjoying her new enclosure or setup rather. But um, if you're new to the channel, make sure to check out my other videos. And if you're not new to the channel, make sure to leave a comment. I love comments, okay? I love them. And look, she's going over to ins inspect the snake plant, see if it's worthy to be in such royal presence of this female Russian tortoise right here. All right. All right. Have a great day.